Rapture Pro is a brand new synth released by Cakewalk. It combines the power of Dimension Pro and the flexibility of Rapture to bring you one single instrument that allows you to layer sample based instruments and synth sounds in one instrument. Today we're going to look at the elements view. The element pages are the fundamental layers of Rapture Pro. This is where sound designers and a lot of advanced users will spend most of their time making sounds. You can load sounds into these and you can layer them and you can mix them using the mixer page or perform them in the performance section. We'll go over that in future videos. But first today I'd like to just go over how to make a kick drum sound inside of Rapture Pro. It's probably one of the most basic sounds that exists in EDM or hip hop music and you can do it very easily inside of Rapture Pro. So to start, on element one, we're gonna load a simple sine wave. To load any sine waves or waveforms, all you have to do is just click right on this view. Sine wave happens to be the first one available. After that, we can preview it using the virtual on-screen controller inside of Sonar. And we want it to be pretty low because this is a kick drum sound. After that, we want to apply a logarithmic ramp downward in pitch. So to do that, we're going to skip down to the modulation section inside of Rapture. We're going to click on pitch. After that, we're going to turn on the envelope generator and we're going to add two nodes to the actual envelope generator. To add nodes to Rapture Pro, all you do is just right click and right click again. And then you can drag these around freely however you want. You can even zoom in on the actual modulation with your scroll wheel to get really granular the way these look. So for this, what we're going to do is we're going to preview the actual kick drum sound while we're adjusting. So the farther out this note is, the longer the ramp down is. So for a kick drum sound, we want this to be closer to this first node. What you'll notice is this has a long release to it. So we're going to have to apply an, a volume envelope to this to kind of cut that off. So we'll turn on the volume envelope in the amp section down here. We'll add two nodes like we did before. We'll find a spot where this works perfectly. There we go. After that, what we're going to do is we'll go up to the pitch section right here and we're going to transpose this down by 11 cents. And that introduces uh, a much more fitting kick drum sound. After that, we'll pan this to the left and then we'll go and we'll activate element two. What I want to do is I want to apply the same element to the second one. So what we're going to do is I'm going to click on this drop down, click copy element, and we're going to paste it. And we're going to pan this to the right. And now we're going to tune this just two cents out to get a really wide stereo kick drum. And there you have it. And that's how to make a simple kick drum sound inside of Rapture Pro.